let's answer these 10 items percentage word problems. So as usual, if you haven't answered them yet, post every item, then answer them before you will see our solutions. Bago tayo mag-umpisa, introduction muna tayo ng konti. Kadalasan sa mga nahihirapan sa word problems, yun ang number one na tinatanong nila sa sarili is, paano kaya gagawing equation yung isang word problem na yan? So, umpisahan natin sa pinaka-basic. Number one, a baseball pitcher won 80% of the games he pitched. If he is pitched 35% Ball games, yun yung total. How many games did he win? So, 80% of 35 is what? Itong of x yan, yung 80% 0.8, tapos 35. So, 0.8 times 35, and that is 28. So, the answer is letter B. Naintindihan nyo na. Again, para sa mga iba na medyo hirap dito. A baseball... Ayan yun yung pronunciation ko. A baseball pitcher won 80%, yung napanalo niya 80% of the games. Tapos, yung lahat ng games ay 35. So, bali, 80% of 35 ang how many games did he win? So, 80% of 85. Ngayon, ang paano ito? Itong of, gawin mong multiplication. Ito, I-convert mo into decimal para mo multiply mo na siya. So, 0.8 times 35 and that is 28. So, the answer is letter B. Number two, Jerry, an electrician, worked nine months out of the year. What percent of the year did he work? So, nine months of 12, 9 over 12. Kasi, ilang months ba ang one year? That is 12 months. So, 9 over 12, i-divide mo siya, and that is 7.75. So, i-multiply mo siya ng 100%, 75%. So, the answer is letter C. Again, ulitin ko. Jerry, an electrician, worked 9 months. Yun lang ang trabaho niya. Out of 1 year, bali 12 months. Instead na 12 months, 9 months lang. Ang tanong is, what percent of the year did he work? So, i-divide mo lang si 9 divided by 12. Ang answer dyan ay 0.75. Kaya, i-multiply mo lang siya ng 100 para ma-percentage siya. And that is 75%. So, letter C. Number 3. There are 40 students in a class. Yan yung total. 16 of those students are boys. What percent of the class are girls? So that means 40 minus 16 equals 24. So what percent of the class are girls? There are 24. I divide mo ng 40 and that is 0.6. I multiply mo siya ng 100% para ma percentage siya and that is 60%. So the answer is Letter A, 60%. Again, ito si boys, si girls. Yung total nila ay 40. Given na 16 ang mga boys, plus ilan yung girls. That means, 40 minus 16, and that is 24. So, bali, 24 ang girls. Itong 24 na to, i-divide mo ng 40 sa kabuuan para makuha mo kung ilang percent yung mga girls sa buong klase. Ito ay 0.6. I-multiply mo siya ng 100% para ma-percentage na siya and that is 60%. Number 4. Anali took a math test and got 48 correct and 12 incorrect answers. And that means, ang total, 48 plus 12, 60 lahat. What was the percentage of correct answers? Ang correct answers niya ay 
48. So, 48, i-divide mo ng total. Ang total niya ay yung 48 plus 12. That is 60. So, 48 divided by 60, and that is 0. 0.8. I-multiply mo ng 100%, that is 80%. So, the answer here is letter D, 80%. Again, Anneli took a math test and got 48 correct and 12 incorrect answers. That means, i-add mo yan para sa total. So, ang total niya ay 60. Pwede mo siyang i-revise yung, yung uh, given. So, 48. Para masagot ang question na to, what was the percentage of correct answers? 48 correct answers. 48 is what percent of the total, which is 60. So, 48 equals what percent of 60? And then, it transpose natin 48 divided by 60. Kasi mag-divide tayo ng both sides ng 60. So, wala na si 60 dyan. So, 48 divided by 60 and that is 0.8. Mag-multiply ka ng 100% para ma-percentage siya, and that is 80%. So, the answer is letter D. Number 5. 120 is what percent of 48? So, ito, mas madali na ito. Kasi, sulat mo lang yung 120 is, is equivalent to, equal yan, what percent, so let N be our percent, of is equivalent to multiplication, and then, 48. Mag-transpose tayo, itong 48 para ma-isolate itong N dito. So, mag-divide tayo ng both sides ng 48. So, 120 divided by 48, and that is 2.5. So, 2.5 yung N. Yung 2.5, kasi percent man ang hinahanap, i-multiply mo ng 100%. And that is 250%. Kaya ang answer ay letter B. Number 6. 120% of what number is 72? Dali lang yan. Ikumpiyahin mo lang si 120%. Yung of ay multiplication yan. What number let N be our number is ay equivalent ng equal yan at 72. Then, para ma-isolate si N dyan, abago yan i-isolate natin, itong si 120%, i-convert muna natin into decimal. And that is 1.2. Kasi mag-divide tayo ng 100%. Yung percentage na i-divide mo ng 100% para maging decimal siya. So, 120% divided by 100%, and that is 1.2. Multiplied mo ng N na hinahanap natin, equals 72. Para ma-isolate si N dito, mag-divide tayo ng 1.2 to both sides. So, wala na si 1.2 dyan. Nandito na siya sa kabila. So, 72 divided by 1.2 or 720 divided by 12. And that is 60. So, the answer is letter D, 60. Number 7. 10% of 300 is what number? So, kopyahin ulit 10% of multiplication yan. 300 is equal yan. What number? Let n be our number. In, in, ang 10%, i-divide natin ng 100% para maging decimal siya. And that is 0 0.1 times 300 equals n. So, 0 0.1 times 300 Balik ko, na lang na isang zero. Isa lang naman ang decimal dyan. So, the answer is 30. Letter C. Number 8. 2 and 1 half percent of what number is 88? Bali, 2 and 1 half percent of multiplication yan. N, let N be our number, is equal yan 88. So, ito na yung equation natin. I-convert mo into decimal. I-fraction pa rin natin or gawin natin decimal siya. And that is 
percent of n equals 88. 2.5 percent is in decimal if we divide it by 100 percent and that is 0 0.2, 0 0.025. Okay. So 2.5 percent is equivalent to 0 0.025. Multiply mo ng n natin and that is 88. Para ma-isolate si n dyan, mag-divide tayo ng 0 0.025 to both sides. So, isolate na si n. That means 88 divided by 0 0.025 or maglagay ka ng 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 para ma-whole number yung denominator natin. So, ganyan. Uh, 88,000 divided by 25. And that is 3,520. So the answer is letter A. Again, 2 and 1 half percent of what number is 88? Itong 2 and 1 half percent gawin natin uh, improper fraction and that is 5 over 2 percent times n equals 88. Itong 5 over 2 percent, mag-divide tayo ng 100 percent para mawala na yung percent. So that means, kung mag-divide tayo ng fraction, maging multiplication ito, ito 1 over 100 and that is 5 over 200. So, this is equal to 5 over 200 na wala na yung percentage times n equals 88. So, this is, itong 200 na to, i-multiply mo dyan. So, bali 5n equals, ito ng 80, uh, 88 times uh, 200 is 17,600. So, 17,600 so, mag-divide tayo ng 5 to both sides para ma-isolate na si N dito. And that is 3,520. So, the answer is letter A. Number 9. 95% of people in my street have a car. There are 160 people in my street. How many do not have a car? So, 95 of people in my street have a car. So, 100% minus 95 percent and that is five percent so five percent of so five percent of 160 don't have a car don't have a car Pangit ng handwriting ko eh. so five percent that means 0 0.05 of that means multiplication so, ulat mo lang yung 160 equals. Yun ang hinahanap natin. 0 0.05 times 160. And that is 8. So, the answer is 8. Again, 95% ang merong sasakyan. The question is how many do not have a car? So, all in all, yung 100%, i-deduct mo lang ng 95% para diritso na tayo sa do not have a car. So, that means 5% don't have a car. 5% of 160 don't have a car. So, 5% times 160, 5% in decimal, 5% divided by 100%, and that is 0 0.05. So, 0 0.05 times 160, and that is 8. Kung regarding naman sa how to multiply yung decimal to any number, mga decimal numbers, mayroon tayong separate video for that. The answer is letter A. Number 10. If 300 students filled form for entrance test, and 280 appeared in test out of which only 70% have passed test, the number of students who failed test are? So, ang tanong, how many number how many students failed the test? The given is 300 yung total pero nag-field lang siya ng form. Pero ang nag-appeared sa nag-test, yung nag-test mismo, 
280 sila. 280 appeared in test of out of which only 70% have passed the test. That means 70% of 280 yung nakapasa. Now, yung na fail naman, 70%, 100%, kung ang, ang 100%, that is equals to 280 mismo. So, 100% minus 70%, and that is 30%. Meaning, 30% 30 of 30% of 280 failed the test. So, point 0.3, multiply mo ng 100% yung 30%. That means 0 0.3 ang off equivalent ng multiplication tapos 280. 0 0.3 times 280 and that is 84. So the answer is letter A. Again, if 300 students filled the form, nag-fill nag up lang naman sila. So wala na yan. Panggulo lang yan. 280 appeared in test out of which... Only 70%, meaning yung 30% of 280, yan yung hindi nakapasa. So, 30% of 280, multiply mo yan, the answer is 84. Letter A.